Hello friends, I'm Larry with Rides Done Right. I'm at round six of the OMRA 2018 event on Saturday uh, with Ryan Sutton. Everybody calls me Chromie around here, so you can call me Chromie. I'm calling this guy Chromie, and what, what I'm going to call you is Super Chromie, because uh, after what I saw today, let me back it up a second. My introduction to you, uh, uh, first time I saw you was a track day, watching you come out of turn nine uh, with the back tire lit up and then lifting your front tire all the way down this, up and down the straight. But last round, I saw you in the race look back out of turn nine to see how close, how far of a lead you had, and you pulled up and wheelied to the start finish line. Yep. Yeah, that's uh, sometimes that's if I got the gap, that's my my trademark chromey 12 o'clock wheelie across the finish line. Most people don't uh, nut up and do that in the race, but I like to have fun at the same time and winning and kicking all these kids' asses. So, so all of us that were on the wall watching this guy we were all just jumping up and down and we were so pumped and to see it, it's one of the coolest things that you're ever going to see is to watch ryan come off the track after a race because he this guy is pumped i mean he gets himself pumped before he goes out he gets himself pumped when he wins the race and comes off what i what i liked about it ryan is that you looked uh, crummy is, is that you looked like you just run your you just won your first race ever you have you maintain that that excitement yep yep i train hard i push hard for this i have been for my whole life this is something that we have dedicated our whole lives to my family my my mom and dad have you know taken care of me throughout my whole race career and I, uh, you know, I'm 37, I got a wife and kids and, and a full-time job, and I dedicate every second to this, every dollar, every second, and the reason I do that is not only to be number one and to win all these races, it's because it's who I am, you know, I train hard and push hard just to be on top of whatever I'm doing in life, work, riding, training, whatever it is, husband, father, all the stuff that goes along with it, you know, it's, uh, it's been my whole life. This is all we've done for my whole life. Well, let's talk about uh, today's race because it was a stunner. If you lived in this area and had a chance to watch this race uh, and didn't come down here, you missed it. And you guys have, have set a bar that, that is, is, makes me want to come and not miss any more races. You had the, the, what I saw is the big guns that stayed together. Your whole race, you had four bikes that just stayed tight with each other. Can, can you uh, recall the names for me? Because I don't know everybody's name. Uh, I know that uh, the top four guys. So you have yourself and then the other three. Yep. The other three is uh, Andy Debrino, Jeremy Coffey, and Kevin Pinkstaff. These guys have been, we've been elbow to elbow for 10 years. And we've all just kept pushing, kept training, and kept trying harder and trying to beat everybody and do the thing. And where all four of us are on a level that we haven't seen in two, two, three, four years since Devin McDonough left and broke the track record here. We've been trying to get to that point on new equipment that has new, new things, traction control, all the things that we were never used to. It was always right here in the wrist, right? Now it's all in the bike. And so it's been a couple tough years for us to figure out how to make these new bikes work to get back to that pace. And now that they're, we're there, all four of us are there. And it's it's a big thing because that's never really happened. You never get four or five guys that are going to be right there battling for that track record. And now we're all in track record pace. Well, uh, unfortunately, I don't have footage track side to show you because... I was too busy watching this race and didn't want to miss it. So we were all over the wall watching the race. But it's an easy one to describe because basically you shot out of the front and got actually, I think you in turn one was the closest that you really had yep. of the whole race for you had to run down. Who who was it that got the whole shot and you beat into turn one then? Kevin got the Kevin Pinkstaff got the jump on me off the line and I managed to stay about a tire length behind him. And as he set up to get in into turn one on the brakes, I just stayed off the brakes until I knew I was had him and I just tipped in and hopefully it stayed and it stayed. So we led from start to finish every lap. Now, and normally when you say that a guy just led start to finish, you know, you'd think, well, you know, that sounds kind of boring. This race was so anything but boring. Yep. Uh, it was all going on right behind you. Those three guys changed positions over and over and over again. And usually when that happens, you, the guy in front gets to check out. These guys are so good. They made these changes and stayed right with Ryan and kept it a tight race the whole way. It was a great race to yep. watch. Within a quarter of a second to a half a second at all times in 10 laps, we never were that more than that gapped, right? Yeah. And that's 
that's that's a that's a crazy race that's intense you know so uh let's talk about your standings then what's your standings here in this year uh, for the 2018 championship because uh, you you were leading going into this and and how did how did obviously another win today so yep. where, where are you at then and how does that work today we came in with a 62 point lead in omra uh, we locked up the number one plate in washington last weekend came in with the 62 point lead here i think we walked out of here today with about a 67 or 68 point lead after two wins um kevin pinkstaff is trailing behind me like i said by 65 or more points um so basically, I, I if I finish well tomorrow, I, I think I lock up the plate as long as I show up next round and circulate. That's a pretty darn good goal to start the year and say, well, I'm going to do Warmra and Omra, and I'm going to try and it, not only let's let's talk about this. Not only did you set out to win championships, you you really are trying hard to break track records yep. in all three. You want Pacific, yep. the Ridge, and and here. Now, how, how is are you the track holder on any of those currently? I am the current track record holder at the Ridge Motorsports Park. I gave up my track record last year to Mitchell Pierce by three tenths of a second. We got one round left at Pacific in September, and if it's nice, I'm going to crush his track record. Um, I'm hoping to tomorrow do the same thing Andy Debrino did today, start from the back and break the track record here to, tomorrow. So we got plans for tomorrow. If everything pans out, we'll be walking out of here on top and with the track record. I mean, you're a guy with goals that, goes, that sets them. And goes out and gets him. I'm, I just, I haven't seen. I've been following this stuff for a long time, and I haven't seen anybody quite like you, Ryan, with what you're doing. And and I love that that it's so tight with your group up there too. I mean, as great as you are, these guys are they're right with you. As a matter of fact, last round, I, I believe it was uh, Sunday. One of one of them beat you this, Kevin, on the Kevin second. beat me in in Formula Ultra on Sunday last round here. And I think if I'm correct. Don't quote me on this. I think that was his first Formula Ultra win. And he came into the weekend super hungry, and I knew it coming in. We we trade Facebook stuff and social media stuff all the time, and I post up my training, and everybody else posts up their training, and we kind of compete on the off weeks training. Who cycled more this week? Who trained more? Who did this? And then we come into the weekend, and we put it all on the line and see who trained more. And and uh, I'll tell you what, Kevin came out last last round and put on a killer show. He stuck to me like glue, and on the last lap, he made a pass that I had nothing for him on, and and uh, hats off to him for for doing that because we were, we weren't expecting that and Kevin's been riding phenomenally this year and and hats off to him all. Now what just just coincidentally and I, I just have to know the answer to this was Kevin the guy that was chasing you down on the last lap on Saturday as you wheelied all the way down the straight? Yes. Yes he was. Yep. <laughs> so he had a little extra motivation. Yep. Oh, he he was motivated on Sunday. There's no doubt about that and I could see it just in his body in his mannerisms, his body English on the bike. When he came out on Sunday, he was, he was I'm going to either beat Chromie or I'm going to give him everything I got. And, I, hey, he stuck with me. He passed me a couple times. I passed him a couple times. We went back and forth for 10 freaking laps. And on the last lap, he stuffed it up the inside on seven, and there was nowhere I could go and nothing I could do. And that was the race. It was by a quarter of a tire's length. I think it was three hundredths of a second that he beat me by at the line. So um, as much as I hate losing and, and strive to be number one, hats off to Kevin and the guy's been riding like a machine this year. So, Well, good job. And, and I will reiterate here that you guys have got to get out and see these races and watch these guys. So if you're in the area, come out to, to Portland and come watch these guys. And best of luck to you uh, tomorrow finishing this up and rest of the season. And yeah. we're going to come out and play some. So watch for this guy in our series. Awesome. We'll catch you guys next time. Awesome. Thank you guys very much. Next up, we've got Formula Ultra sponsored by Apex. In third place, Bike 62, Andy Debrino. In second place, Bike 21, Kevin Pinkstaff. And in first place, Bike 1R, Ryan Sutton. Man, I've never been so stoked on third places today. <laughs> Uh, I gotta give a hats off to these guys. Uh, when I caught up and to Kevin, I was giving him a fit and I couldn't get by him. He was riding like an animal. I've never seen him ride so damn good. So, good job, Kevin, getting the fives, and uh, good job, Chromie. And uh, just gotta give a big thanks to Dunlop Tires, uh, Eric Dorn, EDR Performance, uh, my dad, um, all the corner workers and volunteers. Thank you.
Yeah, like Andy said, it was a really good battle uh, with these two and with Jeremy, and uh, it was really cool. I think we're all trying to chase after Chromie, and all the passes that we were making back and forth with each other weren't getting in the way of us chasing down Chromie. So uh, it wasn't quite enough, unfortunately, for me to get him, but maybe we can try again tomorrow. Right. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, Zlox built a really good bike, like Andy talked about. Um, I, in the brakes into one several times. I don't think if I had a Zlock engine that I'd be standing in this box. So <laughs> gotta give the thanks up to them. Hopefully they're going fast at Bonneville this week. They're set up in through tech and stuff. And so hope for a good week for them. Uh, Dan found out that I set a personal best lap time today and he said, well, I guess I'm not needed. So maybe that's the last time we'll see him. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I gotta say a huge thanks to Ollie and to James for coming down from Canada to make sure that the bike's taken care of. I'd have been a disaster otherwise. And uh, great job to my brother and also to Brian Moe in our pits. And uh, huge thanks to Pirelli Tires and all the Omer staff and corner workers. Good job, Kevin. Uh, so hats off to these guys keeping me honest all weekend. I got to start and lead every lap, which I was not expecting. I was expecting the Brino and Kevin to be all up in me, and there was. I got a tire showing in turn three and I had to close the door a little bit and then I was able to hold him off. So um, I got to thank my wife and Donnie Schultz, who's my second wife. Donnie, where are you at? Yeah, you. Love you. Barry Russell, I love you. KFG Motorsports. Um, Pirelli Moto G Racing, Brian Cliff. I'm sorry, Cliff and DJ and Brian Watucci. Pirelli Tires, amazing. Uh, Kevin LeFevre for being my secret little sponsor out here. Uh, two fast track days, OPRT track days, flexiglass bodywork, Omer staff and corner workers, thank you guys.